I am so sorry about the baby. Gosh. What are you, are, are you, are you saying our son is, you're saying our son is dead? Oh my God, is he gone? Oh. No, no, your son's not dead. Oh, oh my God. He's oh still God. alive, but it's very bad news. He's definitely not out of the woods. Okay, what's wrong with him? Jonathan has suffered liver failure. His condition is extremely serious. This is because of Eve, isn't it? Really, ma'am, it's, it's not for me to not say. Not an hour ago, Jonathan was fine. He just had a little fever. Wait, wait, hold on. It was 105. Nothing what? was seriously wrong with him until you forced me to bring him here, and then Eve gave him too much medication. Listen, cal calm down. I'm not okay? going to calm down. My son could die because Eve won't poison our son. I, I think you're overstating the case. All right, doctor, listen. Is our son experiencing liver failure because of the overdose of medication? Acetaminophen? It, it, it was a large Doctor, amount, but Doctor, please, I, just, just yes or no. Yes. I told you. What is wrong with this hospital? What, what do we do? Your son needs treatment immediately. But I must warn you, there are risks involved. We'll do, we'll do anything we need to do. I'll need you to sign some consent forms before we can start treatment. No problem. Absolutely not. What? You've got to give them permission so they can work on Jonathan with. Our son was fine until we brought him here and Eve poisoned him. So no, I will not give my permission for anyone else in this hospital to hurt him. Ma'am, perhaps you don't understand. Jonathan's liver failure is a very serious condition. He needs this treatment. Or? Or he could die. Well, then that's it. There is no choice. There's no choice. Can you guarantee this new treatment will absolutely 100% save my son's life? We will do the very best we can. But as I said, there are risks. Forget it. Forget it. Without this treatment, your son will get worse and worse. He will be in pain, and he will not get better on his own. He has to have this treatment. Will you listen to this woman, please? And let these butchers near him? No way. Look, I don't want to force the issue here, Gwen, but our son's life is at stake here, okay? If she won't sign the consent papers to get Jonathan the treatment he needs, then I will sign them gladly. Well, you can't. Why not, Gwen? Because you are not his father. What do you mean, I'm not Jonathan's father? No, honey, honey, take that back. I mean, it just can't be true. I mean, it, it, it can't be true. Where did you get the baby? Answer me, now. You're not Jonathan's father, legally. What? Well, yeah, I mean, of course he is. I mean, the woman gives the egg and the man gives the sperm. Yes, and he is, of course, Jonathan's biological father. We were in the middle of a divorce when I gave birth to him, Ethan. I did not put your name on the birth certificate. So, huh. you have no legal rights to Jonathan whatsoever. Oh, excuse me, I certainly do. I can prove that I'm his father, and I'll take a DNA test right now, Gwen. Well, that'll take time. No, you showed me those tests, Gwen. I did? I must have misplaced them. Your baby's welfare should be above all else, Gwen. I am putting my baby's welfare first. Look, I am the only one who can legally consent to treat Jonathan, and I will not give my consent. Are we clear? Gwen. Gwen, damn it, don't do this! What am I going to do? How am I supposed to convince her to sign these papers? I mean, I understand she has a fear of doctors right now because of what happened, but if we don't do anything, he's going to die in there. I'm taking Jonathan home. The hell you are, Gwen! Has she signed the papers yet? No, she hasn't. Your son's taken a turn for the worse. He's declining rapidly. If you want your son to live, we have to start treatment immediately. Ma'am, you have to sign the permission slip for Jonathan's treatment, and I mean now. No. He will be fine if you people just leave him alone. Gwen, Gwen, please. He needs treatment. He's getting worse. Much worse. You are just exaggerating. He is going to be just fine. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Whatever it is, make it fast. If your son doesn't receive treatment immediately, he is going to die.